So the first thing we're going to want to do here is to turn on our headlights and turn on our four-way flashers so that we can check our headlights and our turn signals are all working. We'll walk to the back of the truck here and as we're walking back look at the tires on the truck make sure they're inflated and they look about right with the weight of the trailer onto the truck. You can see all our turn signals are working, our running lights are working, and we'll have someone hop in the truck there for us and press down the brake pedal to make sure the brake lights are working as well. So important to differentiate between the running lights and the brake lights. So running lights dim, brake lights bright when you see pressing the brake pedal there. So we walk to the back here, checking our running lights, our yellow running lights on the side. That looks good up front. Our yellow running light here looks like it's working, but the turn signal function is not working. So it looks like the left turn signal function on the trailer is not working for some reason. Same thing back here, running lights are all working across the board but the left turn signal is not working and the license plate's about to fall off. We'll look at our light bar as it's extended past the trailer and see what's going on with that. Looks like the same thing. We've got our right turn signal working, but not the left turn signal function, just the left running light. So it looks like there's a wire loose in the trailer junction box on the trailer, or uh, maybe a pin that's not being connected on our, uh, on our truck wiring harness. We've got our running light on the side there that looks like it's working good. We'll walk over to our trailer tires here. They look inflated, got good air pressure in them. We've got our running light is working as well as our right turn signal function, which is good. Looking at our trailer tires again, good tread, uh, not too much tread wear. The hubs look good, the lug nuts look good, nothing's loose or falling off, everything that is supposed to be there is there, and there's no signs that the lug nuts have spun at all or started to come loose. We'll also go ahead and tuck our head underneath the trailer and check out our brakes. So we've got Dexter brakes on this trailer, four wheel disc brakes that are actuated uh, electrically with an electric pump that pumps up hydraulic pressure, which applies the disc brakes. So we're checking our discs, making sure that the uh, four discs are not worn too thin, looking at our brake line, making sure there's no uh, oil or grease or any leaks coming from it. There's no parts or puddles hanging underneath the wheels to indicate that anything's fallen off or anything's leaking. Uh, no signs of hydraulic fluid dripping out of there. We'll also look at the back of the uh, tires so we can see the caliper assembly. And really important in this caliper assembly, we have a retaining pin that makes it very easy to change brake pads. So we can see our brake pads in there. They've got good material on them, not worn too thin. But that little important guy there, that cotter pin on the end of the retaining pin, if that came out, the retaining pin would eventually vibrate out and the brake pads could fall out. So uh, that would That'd be pretty bad. Um, the trailer may or may not still stop, but uh, definitely want to make sure you have that little cotter pin, and that's on all four calipers, so all four wheels you'll want to check that on. We'll go ahead and walk alongside the trailer here, and now we're just looking for anything obvious that the wheel chocks are removed, that there's no debris or gas cans like that one sitting underneath the trailer that we're going to run over when we pull forward. Make sure that we get the slings that are leaning up against the trailer and load them in properly so we don't run them over when we pull the trailer forward. And also take an opportunity to walk ahead of the truck and clear the area for any low hanging trees or anything that you might hit on the way out, any trees or uh, posts sticking up. Normally we would have our uh, trailer connected to our truck at this point and we would just check the obvious things that we got our hitch pin in with the uh, cotter pin and that everything looks right, we're not missing anything and everything's in a generally roadworthy state. That's basically it for the trailer walk around after you've already completed your checklist. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Drive safe.